welcome to my channel. So here I am back with another spread in my mini happy planner, excuse me, horizontal layout that I use as a journal. And one of my viewers has actually asked what it all looks like after the pen. I don't normally show it just because it is a little bit more private information, but I will just give you a sneak peek of the last few weeks here. So this is last week. I haven't filled in Saturday or Sunday because it is still Saturday. And then, oops, there's that week. And that week there. So just a little bit of an idea that I do fill this in. I don't normally show the after the pen because like I said, it is my journal. So some of the things in here are a little private, but that just gives you a glimpse into how I use it. All right, but this week I will be using the Christmas Joy sticker book and kind of using the same thing that I've been using all week in all of my mini happy planners. All right, let's get started. It's crazy to think that I'm decorating for December 23rd through to December 29th and I haven't decided actually if I'm going to make this the last week in my 2019 planner or the next week, the last week. So it, yeah, I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna give myself a few days to decide and see what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna use the stickers that are left in this page. Um, I know there's not a lot on this, so I'm gonna bring in the Happy Year sticker book that had some decorative stickers similar to this. And then I'm gonna use my mild liner to highlight that one word of the day that I'll be doing. So I'm gonna put this down here. I love the colors of this sticker. I mean, I know it is actually Christmas week, but I love when colors aren't necessarily traditional. And then the bird. Now I love the bird, but I feel like I could actually place it here, but it is over, oh, over Christmas Eve and Christmas day. And I feel like there's gonna be a lot to write about. So maybe if actually I just put it up here, it will cover up a little bit of the space. I'm gonna place it slightly higher here. It will cover up a little bit of the writing space, but I don't mind so much on the Monday. And the colors are neutral enough that they're, they still say holiday without being totally overly crazy. And then I haven't decided if I'm going to use these two. I love, okay, you know what, I am going to use these two because there's something about finishing stickers or finishing a page that is just awesome. So let's see, put those together like this. And I'm going to put that in the corner up here and it will cut part of it off from uh, on the page, but that is okay. So just cut the edges off. Now I know in this 2019 planner, there is still one week, but then in my new 2020 planner, the, the, the planner starts on uh, December 30th. So I'm really debating whether to decorate up to I don't know what I'm gonna do what are you guys gonna do so now that this page is finished I'm actually gonna be done with the Christmas joy sticker book I'm gonna go into the happy year because the decorations from this page do match a little bit better now what do I want to put I'm gonna put a llama because I mean why not they're super cute then a little I just feel like a Santa head like in the middle of nowhere looks a little weird but these Santas are huge mm. oh I love the little birdie so maybe put the bird here with some candy yeah it totally doesn't look like your typical Christmas spread but I'm gonna make it work here. Then we have this big Christmas tree that I don't necessarily know what I'm gonna do with. Mm. I'm thinking of maybe putting something in the middle here, kind of like what I did there. And maybe put, after all I said about Santa's head, I might end up being Santa's head in the middle because it is Christmas. Now, the thing is, if I do that, I'm cutting off a lot of writing room there in the middle. 
Maybe not that Santa. Maybe this Santa. Where I'm not cutting off so much. There we go, that's better. Then a little bit of green. A little bit of holly. And the pine leaves I think makes a difference. Then I'm gonna see if I can find any quotes in the Christmas Joy sticker book. There's a red one, what does that one say? That Claus is coming! That is almost like so perfect for this. And I'm gonna sacrifice a little bit of writing room and I don't wanna cut off his mouth. There. Cute, then let's see. I do want to put a green one, but they're not necessarily the type of quote I like. The pink might work. Let's, maybe let's just put pretty packages, whoopee. And then maybe one down here. Reindeer games. I think that's cute. I'm actually gonna leave it like that. Now, I'm gonna try and decide which highlighter color I'm going to use. And now that I'm looking at that corner, it looks pretty empty. Maybe just put... Oopsie. There. I don't know what it is. It just adds a little something. Now, what color mod liner do I want to use? Let's get some paper here. Let's see. I don't know, I really like the blue, so possibility. In terms of a green, I don't think this green will work because it's too blue. Yeah, it looks too similar to the other one. What about pink? That might actually work. I think I'm gonna do the pink. So, just adding one. Where am I gonna put? I'll put it up here. And that space is, that one space is really going to be where I'm going to put the one word of the day to kind of describe the day. It's like my synopsis of the day. But also it adds a little bit of color to the spread where um, I wouldn't have thought to add a little bit of color. It just kind of helps bring that together. And then on here. It's Christmassy without being too crazy. So I think that is it. Very quick last journal spread in my 2019 planner. I'm gonna put that back in my happy planner. I love this because now I have a whole year in my journal here and it's just all filled out and I'm absolutely in love with it. And every week is a different, just a different set of stickers, different way that I've decorated it. And I just, I absolutely love looking back on it. This was Christmas in July. That was cool. And, and then my monthly spreads were the things that I was grateful for. So I'm really happy with how this overall journal came out. There were some weeks that I wasn't completely happy with, but overall, I'm just happy to have a place where I did have a decorated journal and I can keep it for forever. All right, but that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, very short plan with me video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.